John Dillinger one time used a large bar of soap to make a getaway, breaking out of a prison in mid, in mid part, part of the United States. He did it by taking a bar of soap and cutting it very carefully so that it looked like an exact replica of a 32 caliber pistol. He then called, then took shoe polish and put that on to, to make it look like just like a steel bullet, uh, a steel uh, gun. And then he called the, the, one of the bosses over to the uh, window and they said, well, what is it? What do you want, Dillinger? Dillinger says, I want to blow your head off. Maybe you make, make a move. The guy looked, took a quick look at that gun, alleged gun, and handed over his own pistol. Next thing you know, they were all locked up. Dillinger and his gang were going, running right out to the city lines, and then to the later, later to the state lines, because when they crossed that line, that line they didn't, they, Guys in those days didn't bother going on anymore. They just got stopped off and just near the sheriff's department and said that Dillinger had escaped and they went about their business. But he, he had done a number of clever things over the years, but this was this was the high point. Uh, that they were showing that gun all over the country to, to, to newsmen, and he ended up being like a hero, a big hero for what doing what he did. And that's the end of the Dillinger thing, except. When I was a kid in Rome, New York, a guy named Derringer uh, broke into our house where we had just moved out of the house and when my brother and I had our bedrooms and Derringer had stolen a police gun and a Tommy gun and uh, they were after him and they finally caught him. But uh, Dillinger and Derringer uh, was always a, was a fun thing for them couple of kids growing up in those days. That's the end of the Dillinger and Derringer thing. I hope, I hope you can hear me.